So first off, credit where credit is due. I discovered this application while browsing through the It's Foss website. So this page will be linked down below as the source for this video, but I will be going over some additional features that was not covered in this original article. So with that said, we are going to be going over Sleek, a wonderful looking to-do list application using the to-do.txt format. Now this is an Electron application, so just full disclaimer, I know some of you guys absolutely love Electron applications. So with that said, let's go ahead and actually check out this application. So as I said, this is the original article right here. This will be linked down below, but this is what it is here. Sleek, this is their GitHub page, so this will also be linked down below. This will go over a lot of the things on how to do everything, how it works. It is available for Windows, so if you do have Windows, it is an option for you. So like I said, this is the original article I found this on, so this will be linked down below, as well as the GitHub page and the page that goes over the todo.txt format, which is what this application uses. This is Sleek. And the wonderful thing about this application is it's pretty simple, but it has enough features that allows you to organize everything very, very well. And the first thing you're gonna notice is the lettering. We have A, B, C right here for me. Go all the way down to Z. That is your priority order. Or you can really do it however you prefer to do it. You could even do that by alphabetical categories or whatever, but that's generally what the developers kind of aimed for. You can see up here, I have a couple things in A priority. The first one being create the video that I'm creating now. Second one is a gaming live stream thing I plan on doing. And then you'll notice over here that it is due today. So you can set a actual time frame for everything to have certain due dates. If I go down here to my C priority, this is transferring pages from my old website to my new website. And I have various due dates for all of this because this is a very time consuming process, but I wanna make sure I get it done in time. So I have this step due today, this step due tomorrow, and it just goes day by day from there. And you can see this is what it looks like when you actually have something completed. This was due yesterday and I completed it. To complete things, you just go ahead and give it a check and then it will bring it down to the bottom of the list. You can uncheck things and that will undo the application. Now, if you look over here, you see video, live stream video. What these are, are the, they look like tags, but they're actually called contexts or projects. The green is a project, the purple color is a context. Now, more details on that will be over here in the to do TXT format. It goes over what your projects are and what your contexts are. Contexts generally are gonna be the place and situation where, where you'll actually work to do the job. That is why for me, I have live stream as the context for that because it is going to be eventually a live stream. And then right now, the only project tag I have is the video tag because those are eventually gonna be full dedicated videos, just like this one you're watching. Now actually creating a to-do is pretty easy. You have your UI over here on the side where you can actually access all the tools available to you. So the first one right here is a little plus that is to create a new to-do. And you see that they have the use to-do.txt syntax with the at context and at projects. And right here you have the A for your priority. And like I said, I will be linking this down below, which will go over everything you need to know on how this is actually set up. And with that said, I'm gonna create a new note. And this one is something I actually need to do. This is gonna be priority C, which for me, I'm organizing my priorities based on A, being videos I need to hurry up and do now, B being long-term projects, and C being things that have to do with my website. So what I need to do is I need to find a um, open source comment system. Uh, for WordPress. So that is the to-do thing I have to do. So what you can then do is right here, you actually have an option to give it that priority. So I didn't need to type the C, it was just kind of habit because that's how I've been typing it out. But you could just type in the note, so I'll just do it without that for now. And we'll add C, so you can see that, go, that adds it. And here you have your due date, so when do you want this done by? Let's say I want this to be done by this Friday would be a good time. And then you can see at the end, it says the due date to be April 2nd, which is this Friday. You can set reoccurrences. So if it's something you do constantly, you could do that. I'll get into that in just a sec. But for now, I'm gonna hit save. And then you can see that find a open source comment system is now on my to-do list. Now, one thing I do wanna start doing on a recurring basis is live streaming. So I'm gonna put this in my priority list B and I'm gonna set it to Plan next day live stream. Now these dates aren't official yet because I'm still trying to figure out the best date because I have people all over the world that watch this. 
So I'm going to set this due by, let's say I wanted to stream theoretically every Thursday. So I want to do this every Wednesday and I could have this every once a week. So then you see it adds REC, W, save that. And now I have a recurring item on my to-do list and that's specified by both the due date and the recurring symbol here. Now with anything in your to-do list, you could go ahead and edit it. So if you click these little dots right here, it brings up a little menu. I could use this as a template to easily create tasks. It's what I did down here for this transfer page thing that's repeated. But for now, I'm going to go edit and here you can see that it brings up what we saw when we created it. And you could mark it as done through here. You could save it, cancel it. I'm going to cancel for now and actually I'm going to go ahead and delete this to do because I don't really have the actual times and dates and all that figured out. So to delete, you just go over and hit delete and then it will delete the note. Now if I go up and I edit this one, for example, the setup FOSS live stream thing, I could go over to edit and you see live stream is done with the little at symbol and live stream. You could do other things. So if I said at home, because I'm going to do this in my house, hit save, it just adds the home tag there. And then if I go over to this button, which is the show filters, open that up and you could see my different contexts and projects there. And then I could go ahead and organize this out. So if I want to see my live stream stuff, I'd hit live stream and it would show me what I have available. And then to get out of this, you just hit reset filters. You can hit this little button to bring that back. And then I'm going to go ahead and edit this and take out the little home thing. If I wanted to add something as a project, so I do want this to actually turn into a video. So I'll just do plus video and then you could click video right here, hit save, and then that will add that as a video. Now from here, we do have a couple more options. So if I go up here to view, this is how you kind of set how everything's laid out. You can show or hide the completed to do. So you can see that this is checked over. So I can see that this to do is still on the screen. I can disable that if I don't want to see the things I've completed. And we have an option to compact view it, which will just kind of tighten everything up a little bit so you can see more on the screen at once. And then under that we have zoom. So we go ahead and zoom in, make everything bigger, zoom out. Depending on your computer's resolution, that could be very handy. And then very bottom sort priority or sort by due date, whatever is actually more important to you. So if I go ahead and close that out and go over here, this is the open to do.txt. This will show you where this data is actually stored. So an awesome thing about this application is you could go ahead and actually back up this. It's just a TXT file. So it is very easy to actually back up and sync across multiple devices because all you'd really need to do is set the save directory as a directory that's automatically synced with either Nextcloud, Google Drive, or whatever you use. And that's how the actual data storage for this works. So just to show you what it does look like, you can see in here I have my documents to do.txt and this is what it looks like. It's just laid out exactly how you actually type up the to do's in the application. And then the application simply just pulls the data and makes it a lot prettier and easier to manage. Up here we do actually have a little search function. So instead of using filters or anything like that, you could just search specifically for, uh, for example, if I do plus videos or video, it's gonna bring up all the videos. Simple search functionality, very useful. Right here, this is probably the most important thing to a lot of people, has a dark mode. That is a very, very handy. I like light mode with these electron applications. I'm just like that, but dark mode with everything else. But this is switchable if this is something that you would like. Lastly, we have our little settings panel here. You can set up notifications. So if you look down here, I haven't closed this out because I've been changing things around, but it says due today. So you can enable or disable system-wide applications for your to-do list. You have your language, archive tools, or archive to-dos, uh, notifications, dark mode, and error and event logging. If you go over to about, this is where you can get links to their GitHub, SourceForge, Twitter, as well as links to all the other projects, dependencies, and borrow code to create this. And if I go ahead and click on this little question mark thing here, it does have keyboard shortcuts. So for a lot of you, especially those of you who use window managers, this may be something you need to know because you don't want it to interfere with your key bindings. But this also could be a good thing because then you could run through this extremely quick. So it does give you a little tutorial on that. It gives you a little tutorial over how the priorities work. It gives you a little info on the contexts and projects. And then over here it has your dates and recurrences. And with all this it shows you both how to do it through the graphical interface as well as how to just simply type it up. So that is Sleek. It is an absolutely wonderful to-do application that I would highly suggest you check out, especially if you don't have something against Electron applications, as many of you have told me in the comments in previous videos. 
With that said, I do hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video if you did. Dislike it if you absolutely hated it. And please let me know down below what applications you're using, either for note taking, to do lists, things like that. I've covered uh, Joplin, Boostnow, and all that in the past. All of those are fantastic applications. But for simple to do notes and easy transferability, this is beautiful. Also, subscribe so you don't miss, well, subscribe and then ring that bell so you do not miss future content and uploads. Now, with all that said, I do hope you have a beautiful day and goodbye. Bada boom, bada bing.